Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to another Pre-Season 8 League of Legends Champion Guide. Today, I'll be covering mid lane Lucian, the Purifier. Everybody dies. Some just need a little help. Alright, so let's kick off this guide by looking at Lucian's pros and his cons. So Lucian's a very mobile champion due to his E ability, and he also has a strong early game. He's also a really good laner that's also fairly bursty. If you can consistently land your Q ability and use your passive correctly, you will output a lot of damage. Since your Q ability does have a really long range, if you're hitting targets behind your primary target, you also have some pretty strong poke damage. Then finally, Lucian's a pretty good tower pusher as well. You can use your abilities over and over again and use your passive in between them to quickly shred the tower. Now Lucian, however, does have a pretty short auto attack range, so he can struggle against some really long range champions. As long as you can dodge your abilities with your E, however, you should be perfectly fine. Next up, Lucian also has no crowd control. He does bring a lot of damage to the table, however when it comes to holding people in place, he offers absolutely nothing. Then for the last con here, Lucian does fall off in the late game. There is a lot of AD carries and mid laners out there that will outscale you, but if you use your early game power spike, you should be fine and not even make it to the late game anyways. For your runes, you want to go for precision and domination, grabbing press the attack as your keystone. This keystone is going to make you do more damage whenever you hit a champion with 3 consecutive attacks and of course this is going to work great on Lucian because of your passive which attacks twice. It will really increase your damage output. You'll then want to go for triumph so your takedowns restore 15% of your missing health and give you additional gold. Follow it up with alacrity so you get permanent attack speed on takedowns as well and coup de gras so you deal more damage to low health enemies. In the domination side you want to go for sudden impact so you get a burst of lethality whenever you use your E ability and ravenous hunter so whenever you get a takedown you get permanent healing from ability damage. For your first summoner spell you want to take flash. You're a very squishy AD carry and although you do have some decent mobility from your E it's still great when used as an escape or as an extra way to engage onto the enemies. For my next summoner spell I like to take either ignite or heal. Ignite is a great option if you're in a somewhat easy lane and you want to have it for some more kill potential so you can get yourself snowballing. Of course it's also going to be great against any champions who do abuse healing like Swain or Soraka. If however I'm in a very hard matchup then I'll usually take heal instead. It will give you a bunch of extra survivability to keep you alive against those enemy mid laners. Against something with a really strong stun like a Twisted Fate or an Annie you may also want to consider cleanse. Your passive ability is Light Slinger and this makes your next basic attack following an ability shoot twice. After using an ability, Lucian's next basic attack within 3 seconds shoots twice dealing between 40 and 60% AD physical damage on the second shot increased to 100% AD against minions, which also applies on hit effects and can critically strike, critical strike damage is halved against champions and monsters. If Lucian's primary target is killed before the second shot can go off, he automatically shoots another enemy. So this here is a pretty strong passive because as long as you're auto attacking in between your abilities you're going to be shooting twice instead of once and doing a bunch of extra damage. This of course is also going to proc press the attack a little bit quicker and increase your damage output that way as well. Since I usually go for a black cleaver on Lucian as well it's also going to shred armor just a little bit quicker at the same time. Whenever you're using abilities just make sure you're auto attacking in between them. Your Q ability is piercing light and this does damage in a line which is great for clearing up minion waves and poking the enemy champion. When activated after a 0.4 to 0.25 based on level second delay, Lucian fires a laser beam in the direction of the target enemy, dealing physical damage to all enemies in a line. Now this normally only has a 500 range on the target you can actually use the ability on, however the total range is 900 so it hits targets behind your primary target. This is a great way to poke an enemy in the lane phase because you can use it on a minion if lined up correctly, it will also poke the enemy champion behind them at a rather long range. Now this ability also has a scaling bonus AD ratio and the cooldown also goes down 1 second every time you put a point in the ability so you definitely want to max this one first. It is your main source of damage outside of auto attack so it's very important to get points into. Your W ability is Ardent Blaze which does damage in a little area that also grants sight for the same duration and gives you bonus movement speed. When activated after a 0.25 second delay Lucian fires a shot that explodes in a cross pattern upon hitting an enemy or reaching the end of its path dealing magic damage, marking enemies for 6 seconds, and granting sight of them for the same duration. Lucian gains bonus movement speed for 1 second if he or allied champions damage a marked target with basic attacks or abilities. So this here is an okay ability, however it does have an AP ratio so it's not going to do very much damage on Lucian. You will definitely want to point in this early on though because it's great for trekking brushes since it does grant sight and of course will give you bonus movement speed if you do mark targets and then hit them afterwards. 
Of course, it's also great to toss out so you can actually get the double shot on your passive as well, especially if you're trying to take down towers. Your E ability is Relentless Pursuit, which is your dashing ability that gives you a great escape or engage. When activated, Lucian dashes a short distance. Relentless Pursuit's cooldown is reduced by 1 second, 2 against enemy champions for each Light Slinger shot landed. Relentless Pursuit also resets Lucian's auto attack timer. So this here is a really strong ability because it's a really solid way to engage onto an enemy champion, or of course you can use it to escape as well. Now although it does have a long cooldown, if you can use your passive properly and make sure you hit those Light Slinger attacks, the cooldown's going to go down rather quickly and you can use this over and over again in a teamfight. Be really careful with this ability however when you are engaging into an enemy champion because it does have a really long cooldown, especially in the early game, and if you get caught out, you're going to die incredibly quickly. Your ultimate ability is the Culling which shoots between 20 and 30 shots and can output a lot of damage. When activated, Lucian fires a shot in the target direction for 3 seconds dealing physical damage to the first enemy they collide with, damage is quadrupled against enemy minions. While using the Culling, Lucian cannot use basic attacks or damaging abilities but is ghosted, can move freely, and can activate Relentless Pursuit. The Culling can only be interrupted by crowd control that prevents the ability to use basic attacks. So this ultimate does have the ability to do a lot of damage because it shoots between 20 and 30 shots, and although each shot only has a 20% AD ratio, if you're hitting a lot of them, it's going to do a ton of damage. It's also great that you can use Relentless Pursuit with this ability as well because you can use it to reposition so the shots land, or you can kite backwards and put a bunch of bullets into a target. Try to wait until the enemy escape abilities are down, however, so you don't end up wasting the ultimate. For your skill order, you first want to put a point into your ultimate whenever you can at 6, 11, and 16. Then focus on maxing your Q ability first because it's really solid in the lane phase of clearing up minion waves and poking the enemy champion. You'll then want to follow it up by maxing your E ability second because the cooldown goes down every time you put a point into it and so does the mana cost. It'll have 0 at max rank. Last of course you want to max your W ability, although it does do damage and your E ability doesn't, it is AP based so it's not going to do a ton of damage, the mobility on the E is much more effective. Either way, make sure you put a point in the ability at level 3 so you can check brushes and get that movement speed if it does land. Lucian has a pretty strong lane phase so against the majority of mid laners you'll want to play pretty aggressively. Poke them down as much as you can with your piercing light and use the auto attacks from your light slinger to harass the opponent. You'll then want to use your Relentless Pursuit to engage onto the enemy when you feel like you can easily win a trade or to dodge important skill shots. Of course, if you get ganked, it's also a great escape. You are still a fairly strong AD carry, so you need to make sure you're prioritizing farming at the same time so you can actually get your items in order to do your damage. In teamfights, you'll have to remember that although you're in the mid lane, you're still a squishy AD carry, so you need to play as if you're an AD carry. Make sure you're on your team's backline and try to deal as much damage as you can from a safe distance. Hit a frontline enemy carry if you do need to. Use the movement speed from your Ardent Blaze combined with your Relentless Pursuit to kite the enemies as much as possible. Then use the Culling and Piercing Light while you're kiting to deal as much damage as possible and also reduce the cooldown of your Relentless Pursuit by using your passive in between them. Now let's look at some of your hard matchups and first up is Anivia. If Anivia can land her Q ability on you, she's going to be a very bursty champion and you're going to die pretty much instantly. A well-timed wall can also stop your Relentless Pursuit, which will completely screw you over and you're pretty much just going to die. Try to wait until she walls and then use it afterwards. Finally, make sure you don't overcommit because if she does have her egg ability, if you go in too hard, you may get ganked at the same time and just end up dying. For your next hard matchup, I've got Azir. Azir's a champion that can actually bully Lucian because you do have a somewhat short range and he's going to be able to hit you with his soldiers. Since you are a very squishy champion, his all-in is also going to be pretty devastating so make sure you hold on to your E ability to get out if he does ultimate you. You'll have to play pretty passively in the lane and just pick up as much farm as you can and wait for ganks. For the next hard matchup, I've got Malzahar. Malzahar's a champion that has an annoying amount of harassment if he does get his E ability on you over and over again. His all-in with his ultimate is also incredibly strong, so you have to make sure you pick up a QSS somewhat early on, otherwise he's just going to delete you with his combo. Be very careful if he's moving up to you, because if he puts his E on you and then uses his W and follows it up with his ultimate, you're going to die. Then for the last hard matchup here, I've got Talia. A really good Talia is going to be able to use her knockup to cancel your E ability, and if she catches you in this, you're going to die. She's going to follow up by using her W and her Q ability, which is usually going to be enough damage to kill you. Try to bait out her knockup ability because if she does use it, she's not going to be that strong in an engagement and it's time for you to go in and get some free damage. Alright, so let's finish this off with the item build which starts with your Adoran's Blade, Health Potion, and Warding Totem, or if against a hard lane, Adoran's Shield, Health Potion, and a Warding Totem. 
For your core builds, you want to go for Blade of the Rune King, the Black Cleaver, and a Phantom Dancer. You're going to do a ton of damage to even tanky targets with a Blade of the Rune King and Black Cleaver combo, and you're going to have a ton of attack damage, attack speed, critical strike chance, and of course you're also going to shred armor. If you feel like you're going to get a lot more from a Rapid Fire Cannon, then you could always take that instead of the Phantom Dancer. I'll pretty much always take the Phantom Dancer myself, but if I am against a lot of long range champions, I will take that Rapid Fire Cannon instead. For your boot options, you have Berserker Greaves to get more attack speed increase your damage, Ninja Tabbies against high AD teams, and Merc Treads against high AP and CC heavy teams. For your item pool, we first have the Infinity Edge. This is a really strong item on an AD carry and it will really increase your damage output, especially combined with a Phantom Dancer. Now you do always have the option of going for an Essence Reaver instead, it is a really solid item because it will keep your mana up as well if you do usually have mana issues. I'm somebody that definitely prefers going for an Infinity Edge, but an Essence Reaver is also a really solid item. Now you could always pick a Yumu's Ghost Blade up as well if you want to increase your mobility just a little bit more and also get some lethality and cooldown reduction. This item will really take advantage of your early and mid game power spikes. Now if you want to get more of a defensive option, you could always go for the Guardian Angel. It does still have a nice chunk of attack damage on it as well, so it will help you carry, but it does also have the ability to come back to life in the later stages of the game, which is also fantastic. If you are in the mid lane against an AP Assassin, then you may want to consider getting a Maw as well. The defensive shield can really help you survive their all-in burst combos. Then finally, if you're looking for some more armor penetration, you can get either the LDR or the Mortal Reminder. If I have to pick one up, I usually want to go for the LDR, but if you need Grievous Wounds against something like Swain or Soraka, then you may want the Mortal Reminder. I don't take these items too much, however, on Lucian, because you do already have the Blade of the Rune King and a Black Cleaver, which is already great for killing tanks. For my example full build, however, I take that core build, get some Berserker Greaves, and then Infinity Edge, and a Guardian Angel. You're going to be a really strong carry that outputs a lot of damage, and you're also going to have a nice defensive with the Guardian Angel in case you do get bursted so you can actually rejoin a teamfight. But that covers everything I've got for mid lane Lucian in pre-season 8. If you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure you drop a like and subscribe because now I'm making daily videos. I also have a link to all my social medias in the video description below as well, so make sure you check that out. I do have a Discord server, so please feel free to drop by and ask anything League of Legends related. But other than that, thank you guys so much for checking out the video, I really do appreciate it, so take it easy, have a good day, and peace.